Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix broken queue files for ROMs that won't launch in your emulator. This is particularly helpful with the Manafin emulator and Sega Saturn emulation, which tends to be incredibly finicky. And to do this, we're going to need Notepad++, and if your game came with audio files, you're going to need this audio converter right here as well. So get those two things installed and let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure of if your game isn't working is that all the files that came with your ROM are in the same place. Meaning if it came with a queue, an ISO, and a bunch of MP3 or audio tracks, make sure they're in the same folder, all in the same location. After you've done that, you can right click on the queue file, go to edit with Notepad++ and click right there. So this is the inside of our queue file, and if it looks pretty spooky, don't worry about it, it's a lot simpler than you think. All we're paying attention to is what's in between these two quotations right here. The first thing we want to get rid of if you see it is a file path in the beginning where it says C drive slash Saturn and mine. It could be something different for yours. You're going to highlight it up to where the game title is and you're going to erase it. Next thing you're going to want to check is the file extension. Here you can see it lists my file extension as bin. But when we look at my actual game, it's an ISO. So what we need to do is change bin in our file to ISO. What you want to do now is make sure the name in here matches the name on your ISO or bin or whatever your ROM file is. And as you can see, mine does not match. This says AMOC, mine says AMOC ZZZ. So we're going to erase these three Zs and make it match. The last problem only happens if your game uses MP3 files as the audio format. And if that's the case, go ahead and hit Control F. And where it says replace, click right there. In this category where it says find what, we're going to type in MP3. And then hit enter. And then we're going to go down to where it says replace with. And we're going to go to WAV. And then we're going to click replace all. Now you can exit this little box. You can save your file. And we have one step left. You're going to need to convert the audio files that came with your game to WAV format. You can do that using a website or you can use a piece of software. All I have to do is highlight all these MP3 files, click and drag them in here. Right here in this little box where it says WAV now, it may say something different for you. You're going to click there, make sure WAV is selected, and press close. And then you're going to hit these two little arrows and it'll convert them. And once it's done, you can delete the original files, which are the MP3 files, and you're all set up and ready to go. So I hope this video helped, and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a whole bunch of other stuff on emulation you might find useful as well. Until the next time, you guys have a good one.